I think this is a bit of a special occasion. I've got Chris, I've got Bill, master distiller. I've got Bill Lark, the man who built Australian whiskey, and we're here today to enjoy a little Australian whiskey. Welcome, guys. Thanks, James. Cheers, thank you. We're here to crack into the, uh, the whiskey that we've just finished working on, the Rising Tide that we've just created for the Whiskey Club. I very much wanted to call it that after seeing you speak so many times in tastings, uh, the Rising Tide lifts all boats. And that's something that you bring to life every time you talk about Tasmanian whiskey as a category. It's been 30 years. Can you speak to how it all happened? That's been a, a, a passion of mine from day one, that if we can all work together, and I'm pleased to say we've been able to do that, that we can create something pretty special. Mm. Chris, you had the pleasure of putting this together, but it's a representative, a, a cross-section of some stunning Tasmanian single malts to put together a blended malt for Tasmania. I think for me, when we first started talking about making this whiskey, we wanted to represent Tasmanian whiskey and um, everything that's great about Tassie. So it was about taking each piece of whiskey from across the state, mm. bringing it together in a way that was cohesive and balanced and showed off you know, the best bits of each one, which is, you know, there's a bit of peat in there, just a little little bit hidden underneath, and then you sort of go up the next layer and you've got the sweetness of the fortified, again, and then the American oak over the top. And then the floral, you know, those floral notes, there's a little bit of sulfuriness kicking across the back of the palate. And what I'm really pleased and proud of is it's a representation of an industry that's growing, but is really matured. <laughs> It was almost a bit of a bit of fun for us while you were starting to send us samples of, you know, getting the components of this is really rich and funky and this is really bright and sweet and starting to see some of those classic Tasmanian single malt characteristics sitting in the glass, but sitting next to each other, which is quite a unique experience, I think. I mean, I'm holding this glass, I really want to drink this whiskey. <laughs> drink it, drink it, that's what it's there for. It hasn't stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are comfortable with it, I'd love to just do a proper tasting on this whiskey. I mean, we've been nipping away at it, but um, let's have a proper drink of this. Well, I'm just getting such a beautiful, clean nose full of nuts and dried fruits and all those really lovely things that you'll expect to get from some of the barrels that you've chosen, Chris. You know, I've often been given a whiskey like this and I've nosed it for 15 minutes and somebody said to me, Bill, uh, you know, obviously not enjoying that, I'll get you another one. And I go, no, no, please, I'm enjoying the nose so much, I haven't even tasted it yet. That's one of these whiskies I think you could sit here and nose for quite a while, just trying to sort of understand what's gone into making it. It is actually, I can feel my head deconstructing a little bit. I can see like, well, you are, yeah. oh, there's this single malt distillery and this single malt distillery, just pulling them apart a little bit. For me, it's the way that they integrate and balance. You sort of run your nose across the glass and there's not a blip, there's not a, there's not a moment of where it sort of falls out of balance. Like I love that about this whiskey. Like it's not necessarily that you go, oh, I can see the, you know, the dark fruits and I can see, you know, bits of, which you can, but they all run from one to the other and to the other and they all overlap and sort of play off each other, which is um, really fun. It's a fun whiskey to drink. When we first received the samples of this, we all said, it's actually a really mature whiskey. And I think that speaks very nicely to where we are with the industry. It, it, it's not young, it's not prickly, as you no. said. It's, it's representative of 30 years of history. It's representative of Bill and Lynn's legacy. It's representative of so many distilleries across Tasmania. And to be honest, tasting it's a joy, but it's also a relief. <laughs> I just want to say an enormous thank you to both of you for being part of creating this whiskey. This very much feels like it's something we've really created for our members. So thank you again so much for being part of that. Well, it is actually a real pleasure and I'm very proud of what you've been able to put together and what we're presenting to the club. Yep, I can't wait for everyone to taste it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.